Hello and welcome back to when I play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Gong Du on Legendary Difficulty, where last time we left off, we were very close to the end of the campaign. In fact, I think this is going to be the final episode of the campaign. All we have to do is take the capital, which is right here. We are two turns away with this army, uh, and possibly two or maybe three turns. No, two turns of that one as well actually should be okay. It's more about whether there's going to be a full stack in there or not, but either way, we are just, yeah, we're, we're really close. Um, even if I were to lose a town or two, it would actually be totally fine as well. I don't even need to like besiege this level 10 town or something if I don't want to, but... Um, we also have... We are being besieged here, and we are sieging out South South here. If he were to sally out, I'd probably just back off and uh, wait for my reinforcements to arrive. Um, other than that, we are basically at the end of the turn. We've moved all of our armies already. I don't think there's any diplomacy to be done. I haven't really looked at this for a while either, to be honest. But again, we should finish the campaign in like a turn and a half. I suppose one thing that we could perhaps do is... Oh no, that wouldn't even work. I was going to say, like, make it my vassal. Um, I cannot pro propose this to an emperor or faction involved in the civil war. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so yeah, let's end the turn. So we probably have to do this battle next time or next episode. We'll have to do another battle or two at least. Um, before this campaign is really over, but yeah, it is happening soon, so. Alright, so he did sally out. I have no reason to fight him right now when I have several armies of reinforcements on the way. So I'm just gonna back off and come back next turn. Kingdom of Wu. Nothing. I didn't even see an army of them. Okay, that's good. Possibly. Possibly good. Maybe good. We'll see. There is that Huangzhou army, so it is actually still around somewhere. That's annoying. May have to actually deal with that. He even has towns back there, so this guy's actually still alive and well. Okay, Liu Bei joined the war against Yuan Shu, but then Yuan Shu died. Yep, alright. That means I lose my trade, so I can get trade going with someone else. AKA Kong Rong. Wait, what happened? Wait, did someone die? Oh no, no, we unlocked that. Oh, yeah, we unlocked this one, fair enough. He Yi. We get 30% income from 30% income from uh, commerce population. Oh my god, 25k population growth, 12% replenishment. Where he is, An extra army, 15% trade influence, 4k population growth, 10 melee evasion for melee infantry. That's insane. Nine satisfaction and five satisfaction. All right, I'm not sure if that's necessarily the best one, but again, we're going for all the legendary characters, so it's gonna be you, no matter what. And he didn't even have a role, so that works out perfectly. So the final one, I will work towards it, but we're not going to unlock it in time, I don't think. Only five turns, holy shit, that's fast though. Oh no, we have a rebellion in Wuling. Oh hey, I have an army over here. How convenient. Uh, actually, just force marks, it's fine. Right. Um, let's do other stuff first. Ambush is discovered, okay. So yeah, we have an army here, which was ambushing me. I have an army here to deal with. Yeah, first and foremost, Gong Du, why don't you besiege Cao Cao? I think that's actually fair enough that you do it, of all people. Starve him out, bring over this reinforcement army and that reinforcement army. I don't know, should I even bring this one? I feel like two is already enough. Yeah, that's, well, actually it's a Pyrrhic victory, you know what? No. I'll bring the third army in. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a Pyrrhic victory. Just a tiny bit, just to get in range and then we fuck off again. Alright, the size of victory, low losses, that sounds better. Is that South Satisfaction dead? He deserves to be dead after all the shit he's done to me. It's him, him himself. Oh, we can get another legendary mount, that's crazy. And trust of God. Another legendary weapon, yep, those are mine. And that is South South dead. Gu Wanjing, yeah, it's just a dead faction is what that is. Alright, so kind of just because I feel like it. You're gonna get Shadow Runner. And oh you can't. Wait, hold on. Um you can have trust of God. Minus fifteen instinct. Nah, it's not really that good. I was gonna just do like free legendary uh, items in here. Um, like give him another one, but I, I can't be bothered to actually go through with that, it's too much effort. You can have this though, it's fair enough. 
All right, who's, who doesn't want the trust of God? Minus 15, who doesn't care about instincts but cares about a 40? No one actually in this faction. It's more of a, an item for a commander, which we don't have. Do we just leave that item like no one gets it? Your sword is too shit, I'm afraid. Mr. Cao Cao, if that even is your f real name. All right, that's all the buildings. We got uncomplicated. That's bad, actually. Oh, I, I said how we don't really get bad traits usually, but there you go. I got a bad trait. Relationship lost. Okay, I guess I need relationship with right with um, Cao Cao because he's dead. But yeah, the reason I gave him to to him, obviously, I don't know if that was obvious actually, is that he now has Shadow Runner. He has Heavenly Fire, and he has Dilu. So we have all three. Well, not all three. Actually, are there more? Yeah, there's uh, red hair, but yeah, well, three of the very few legendary horses all in the same army. Uh, although it's interesting that this one actually also has, is part of the Shadowrunner set, Jade Horseman. They got plus 30 charge bonus for the entire army. I have one of those. Wait, is it Jade Horseman or Jade Horse? Jade Horseman. Wait, does that mean it's got to be the, um... It's... wait... Does that mean it's one of these ones? That's a Jade Horse's one. It will on uh, this, this one. Stone Horse. No. It says I own it, but... Okay, well, let's just try. Is it this one? Uh, no, I guess I obviously already knew it wasn't because I could have seen that it wasn't part of the set. Wait, what is then? It says I own it, so someone's got one. Uh, that one. Okay, so it's that. So, Guan Jin. I'm gonna make this happen. I want plus 30 charge bonus for my entire, our entire army, which is completely pointless, but whatever. You know what? I don't actually really want that at all. Fuck it. I don't care enough at this point. You can keep that bow. <laughs> A couple legendary items just hanging around. No one wants them. Um. Okay. Mates, etc., etc., etc. Okay, cool. I'm gonna attack this town. This shitty former capital. Man, I can almost just delegate that straight off. That's not even a, well, it, it is a close victory, so it's already good enough, but... Let's get you a little bit closer. And I'll have that. Thanks for your former capital. Sun... Se. Sun Jan, but he's dead, so whatever. We are more friends. Everyone's fucking friendly with each other. Great. You gotta level up. Uh, night battles. Do we have that already in this army? Does it matter? Definitely not. Still going for it though. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Doesn't matter. Alright. Do I care about this town? Whatever. Just go for whatever. I don't care. Actually, we're already out of 49 food from taking that town. Fair enough. Alright, I want to go play, take this place. There is Sun Tzu. Okay, I gotta get over here quick before he comes and attacks me. Uh, let's see, how far can you go in normal stance? Not very. You can go right there in Force March. Oh, it's okay. Uh, I'm assuming I can still reach from in reinforcement range of him, so like right there. I, I'm gonna say that I can probably still reach next turn. Yeah, it looks like it. And you can reinforce, so that should be fine as well. Okay, so we got that army to deal with, this army to deal with. You can not. Yeah, you can't reach that army. It's gonna run away, but it perhaps runs away towards this army. It did, in fact, do that. Can I resolve this one? Yes, I can. Alright, so our army dealt with. Uh, you may go. You may go. Everyone's going. I don't care what those items were. Unless they were legendary, which they clearly weren't going to be. So. Not a level up on here. Uh, more research rate? Probably not. I don't think. I don't know if we've got my battle here. That was the same guy. We don't. Yeah, we do actually. Okay, never mind. Don't get my battle. Uh, nope, that's not the one. Uh, I don't care. Armor. Sure, that's actually not bad. Okay, weird graphical glitch is happening all the time now it is as well. You're gonna go some way. You're gonna chase this army. Okay. You... 
are gonna start going towards that town from Liu Bei. This guy can't really take anything, so I'm actually okay. First march it. Could be able to reach. That might actually be the final Liu Bei town as well now, finally. Final Liu Bei town, finally. Right, this is going to be dealt with finally as well. Still a close victory, but... I kind of want to see these archers in battle as well. Fuck it, we'll take it, I'll replenish. Alright. Another level up. Yes, for you. Congratulations, you want to get that. And... Yeah, we're basically out of supplies and getting them back very slowly. But I do kind of want to take out this town as well, so maybe I will still go on the offensive next turn. Fix that up. we got to deal with this right now. We're going to start taking attrition here. I could... See, I looked at this earlier. I could run this army over there and force March, attack, and he'll probably run away. The problem with that would be that <clears throat> he has night battles uh, unlocked. So if I were to do that and he runs away, and then the next turn he'll just attack his army, and we would get fucked, so we're gonna have to actually fight that one manually, but that's okay. Right, if you got any movement left over, you do. Let's start moving you this way. Also, I was I had trade available with someone I never actually asked, so I can't actually trade Kong wrong. Is he, is he full of trade? No, he's not. I'm bordering him. I guess there must be no route to him through my capital. No, there definitely is. I don't know why I can't trade with you, but maybe he's got like six out of six, but one of them is blocked or something, and it doesn't tell me. I don't know. Either way, Gao Bo or Wang Shu. Wang Shu is less likely to be my target. Holy shit. What about the other guy? Do you want trade? At all? No, nope. alright. I guess I'm not trading with anyone. That's fair. I don't need trade. Okay. Um. So you guys have all been moved right over here. Yes, we can take a spice market finally. And I want to fight this one because I want to see this map. Unless it's just a field battle. No, it is not a field battle. Okay, so this will be the first time that I ever fought on a spice battle map. So let's see it. So we've got one battle here. One battle against Xiao Yun. Possibly a battle for... No, that's not going to happen. The final battle will probably be not resolve. Because I'm not going to take the Emperor's Seat with a battle, because I fucking hate sieges. Unless I, of course, siege him out and I get attacked or something, but that's a different story. Anyway. See it. See the spice place. Yeah, it's... Oh, it looks like an encampment. That's pretty cool. I was going to say, it's not very unique or anything, but it doesn't really matter. It's, it's, it's unique to me. Let's attack from over here. There's a massive tree in the way. Let's look at that. Let's attack from over here. There's some trees there as well. I guess this is the most open. We're attacking from here after all. Alright. Uh, this actually seems like a pretty decent formation already. There's kind of a, a hill here, which doesn't really help us that much. But it's okay. This is a good choke point one as well. Spears. Spears. And I'll put you up there. Yeah. Despite the hill being kind of in the way, I think we'll be okay. Can't really move any more forward, though. Actually, I might want to use you, so let's pop you on the flanks. Alright. You and you. Fire right there, please. They are moving. There we go. Oh, except for that one unit decides to stay around for some reason. Now it's almost dead because of that. Good choice. Oh my god. <laughs> Nope, just keep firing at that location, actually. That's the one unit that made it through, but it's getting wrecked by the archers. New record? 142? Was it? We gotta end it quick. Uh, I think that was 135 or something. Yep, 135. I think that's the fastest one now, isn't it? I think 142 was the fastest before. Or was it 132? I don't remember. <laughs> That was mad, though. I think if I actually hadn't switched targets, I would have done even faster, but oh well. Yep, so... Hey, there we go. I got an achievement from that as well. Sweet. What was it? Playing as any faction control two spice resources. Oh, I actually already own one. I just never fought the battle for it. They who control the spice. Must be a reference to something. 
Right, you can get there next turn, so we can get a that this this whole side objective from ages ago. Oh, never mind. Shit, they've taken that. Eh, whatever. I was gonna say this whole side objective uh, will finally be finished off as well, taking all of this stuff and just having a united front. Basically, that was the initial plan. Um, but now they've taken that, the little twats. So you're gonna have to go over there, and I'm gonna have to keep running you this way then. Did I not force march you last time? That didn't make much of a difference, did it? Holy shit. Oh my god, they got Zhao Hu Yuan. What the fuck? He's in the Han Empire now. What the, go what the hell's going on here? Alright, so next turn that's gonna happen. Um, I have six armies in a row here. Oh no, five, sorry. That, that was not mine. Still, with that one there, six on the screen right now. Then again, you can zoom out like this, and oh, I have 14 armies on screen. Okay. Um, so the only other thing that's left to do is this battle here against Zhao Yun, which is not great. This army of mine is not particularly experienced, I don't think. No explosive shots. Um, but it's okay. We get a garrison as well. I could even auto was over for a Pyrrhic victory, which is not exactly what I want, but I'm almost tempted to do so just so I don't have to fight this. But hey, we haven't fought Xiao Yun in this campaign, so let's fight him in this one too. Watch me lose this now. Actually, if I lose it, it's still not the end of the world. Um, Yep, just fight it. No night battle or anything I can do, so... Right, so this might actually be the final battle of this campaign. If I end up auto resolving the capital city of the kingdom of Wu, then that will be that. Alright, just a good old field battle. I guess we'll wait back here since our reinforcements are ink. No trebuchets though, so I will just set up inside the deployment zone. Uh, oh right, it's the army that doesn't have any ex have any spears, which is kind of annoying, but... Oh well. Cav on the flanks. Generals back here. Yeah, we have no one who can really defeat Xiao Yu necessarily, so this is going to be one of those battles where we have to try and just destroy the enemy army. Also, I think we may have some spears from the garrison. That would be kind of useful. Oh, no, this is one of these garrisons. Never mind. No, no spears, but just more and more infantry. Fair enough. Um, let's pop you guys out on the flank here. Pop you guys out on the flank there. Is there a different image? Fucking camera, please. Sword and sword. Nope. I want you to be there. Will you actually like just kind of behind that? You here, you behind that. Right, and then the archers. That's actually kind of useful having more archers, so let's just line them all up. They're coming in hot, so they're running back actually. Wait, why are they running back? I'm attacking them. Fuck, are they gonna actually sit back? Well, if they do, at least I get to get all my units in position. We'll see. Let's get you into the forest somewhere. Let's go over here. Although that might be in the way of all the units, but we'll see. We'll see many things. Nope, they are coming. Perfect. Let's get my units over here quickly then. Uh, they got some cav over there, some cav over there. I'm going to have to pull my cav back, I'm afraid. I don't have any anti-cav, so we're going to have a hard time killing off these cav, unfortunately. And there's a lot of them as well. There's six units of cav. Fuck me, that is... Way more than usual. And just exactly when I don't have the way, a, way, a good way of killing cav. Uh, I'm going to need you guys to shoot in here somewhere. They have no strategies, so at least they don't have loose formation, so I will do a lot of damage with uh, boulders. Despite not having flaming shots. Yeah, six units of cav, and actually three fighting generals too. This is going to be tougher than I thought it was going to be. I don't have a good way of dealing with their army. Like most of their- like the infantry is not going to be a problem, but... At least I have tons of experience on these guys, that's actually pretty good. All right, here they come. That's not loose formation, I don't think. That's just them kind of. Yeah, there you go. They're they're, they're um, forming the line again. It's not going to do a lot of damage. But, oh well. 
Let's go more like that. And then you. Wait, what? That didn't do anything that I, that I wanted to say. That, that. What the hell? I can't speak anymore either. Everything's going wrong. What is happening? Am I having a stroke? Okay. I think I'm just um, excited because of the end of the campaign is coming. Also, why did you guys... Okay, I need to move the entire force forward now. Minus the trebuchets, because for some reason they decided to move forward a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna say no, no, and no. Although I am... <laughs> it's kind of interesting to me that they all fucking dueled. Every single person there wants a duel. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna have a hard time killing these uh, cav off, I'm afraid. This is gonna suck. Even their general is going to be tough to kill as well. I only have... Boost the armor. I mean, they're still not going to do too much damage on the charge, but it's not going to be great. Let's try and kill the cav off before I... Oh my god, they're going straight around as well. This is terrible. What about here? Yep, kind of doing that too. Right in between there. All right, this is not gonna be a. Oh shit! Oh yeah. Okay. All right. I see where I see my mistake. Kind of forgot that. But beyond that, that's not gonna be too much problem. Tr trouble even. Let's make sure I get those archers back though. Going back, boys. You might want to get in there too. Actually, give an attack order if we can. Ugh, what's this unit doing? Catch him. Someone tag this unit, please. Or turn around and murder it. Quickly kill more of them before they arrive. That's gonna be so painful. Oh, now you guys decide to go after it. I think I told you to do that way earlier, but okay. Uh, Zhao Yun is destroying my dudes over there. That's great. You're getting destroyed by this unit over here. It is anti-cav after all, so I can't really blame you. Men free develop. Yeah, that's the uh, archer that got charged in the backside. That didn't really work out too well for me. Ugh. Yeah, we destroyed the infantry, but that's not really that wasn't really going to be the problem. All my damn archers here and just caught in melee. So that one unit decided to run around. That really didn't help me. Yeah, go kill Zhao Yun. We're targeting apparently the toughest enemy here. That's probably not a good idea, but we're doing it anyway. Walk into melee. Use the ability, then do that. And you as well. Alright, we routed that cav unit. Get over here. Infantry. Just get in the back of all this shiz over here. Archers, fire back at that unit, please. Should put him on guard mode, but I always forget about it. Okay, you're getting wrecked by Xiao Yun, but then again, you're also doing some wrecking in return. But I really need to have some infantry help out against that. This is not going well either. Okay, my own cav. God, their cav. There's just too many. <laughs> you stay in melee with him. You need to get out of there and start attacking him or something. Ugh, like this calf is being annoying now. I like, I, I need my calf to be freed up and I can't free him up. I'm, I'm too busy destroying, well, fighting their calf. I wouldn't even say destroying. I'm actually losing most battles. Alright, just don't fight him personally. Oh, don't do that. Sorry. And I walked my other arch into range, didn't I? Get out of there. You guys get out of there. I don't know what you're doing. Chase them and kill them, please. I need my calf freed up already. Where's the one over here? Not a clue. Ugh. This is the first time in a long time that we have a, a trouble in a battle. You know what? The Liu Bei campaign, I also ended on a uh, lost battle. Kind of ironically. Okay, routed a general. That's good. Oh shit, mine is about to die though. Maybe don't fight anymore. Just stay inside of this archer unit, they'll protect you. You're also not doing too hot. 
if I'm being honest. This carve is still all stuck. Carve v carve is just not good. It takes too long to win that battle. You're somehow still okay, but I think this is because this guy's actually not focusing on you at all. Okay. I mean, they're running out of infantry units now. Let's get in there. If only I had my cam, I would have killed their infantry off already, and then I would have actually had a mass rod already, but I'm actually losing the calf fights. Well, I'm winning these two. I'm losing a calf fight, I'm winning another one. You know what, just get out of here. You guys keep these guys busy. You just leave this fight. Just say, no, I'm not interested in this fight anymore, actually. Don't follow me. That's not how this works. You just, you, you get stuck in combat with my other units. All right, that's how that works. Uh, you are dying now. Okay, you're right, fair enough. Just make sure you get out of there. You, uh, oh yeah, just, sure. I don't know how you were able to use that. Kill that man, please. I want you to kill him too, but you can't. Go kill that guy instead. Alright, I finally got some fucking cav out of here. Go kill this... No, they're immediately stationary because they knew it was coming. Kind of a poor charge for my own men, but... Still killed some stuff. Yeah, go kill him. I need, if I can kill some generals off, that'd be great. Finally, you're freed up here. I mean, finally broke some units, but immediately... No, don't, don't even bother chasing that unit. Please don't ride, just kill him. You might need to get out of here now. We're just gonna win this one by breaking the entire army and then having the generals ride as well. Hello? Are you actually trying to get out of there or what? What are you doing, man? Get in here for safety. Alright. Please kill him already. Come on now. More calf freed up finally. This. We actually got another calf back, but we did lose that fight in the end. Ah, finally, we did it. Finally. Kill the general. Get in here now. Get over here, because we're actually losing the side. We charged constantly. That should be another dead slash routed unit. Get out of there. Where did I send the other calf to? This one, I got around. Just come over here. Um, I'm routing the entire army now, and it doesn't look like the enemy is running away just yet. One step closer to victory. I mean, technically. Oh, there we go. Zhao Yun is almost routing, and so is Xi Lang. Get out of here, man. Chunk him. Yay. Didn't chunk him, but we routed him. Even better. Alright. That was tough, but we did it. Didn't lose a. Didn't end the campaign on the loss, which is nice. Yeah, the Lee Bay campaign, we ended on a loss, if you guys remember, if you saw it, whatever. We got um, attacked by one of Zhang Yan's armies, in, and he ambushed me, basically, because that's his special trait. And, um, yeah, we just were, we were just caught off guard, but the rest of the campaign was completely fine, so I didn't bother with it or anything. But it was kind of annoying, and, like, winning every battle and then ending the campaign on a shitty loss. Anyway, that was tough, but... It was against Xiao Yun's army. It was the fact that he had that I didn't have any anti-cav. He had a lot of cav, and it you know it's Xiao Yun, and apparently the other generals were quite solid too. Like it was a big combination of many things that are working against me there. But it's all all right. It's all right. Made for an interesting challenge at least. Yeah, you can see the difference with Cav, though. Like, when we have anti-Cav and they run into my... Very quick tree, I'll take that. They run into the Spears. The enemy Cav, that is. And they just die, like, instantly. It's such a huge difference. You can see the amount of kills they got here. It was all the Cav doing all the work. And them, of course, but... This was technically their Cav, too, so... It's not even wrong. Alright, we only lost a single unit. And we got a nice family Spear from him, I'm assuming. Yep, he's down to a shitty axe. I'll take the replenishment. Let's take the money. Alright. Does anyone here want the trust of God? Here you go. Oh my god, his instincts. At a certain point, it doesn't matter though. If you have such a low instinct that it doesn't actually like increase anything anymore. Like it doesn't actually give any stats. Then yeah, you might as well, right? 
Uh, that spear is actually really good, but you guys can't use a spear, so here you go. You can use a spear. It's probably better for a healer, but whatever, we're about to finish the campaign. I think we'll finish this army off. See you later, Xiao Yun. Alright, cool. That was nice. Okay, now I think that is it for this turn. Two armies I haven't moved yet. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Lowman's supplies. I was just gonna say, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, this guy. Hey, look at that. You can go take this town now. Give me that. Wait, is that not the fool? Yeah, there's the fool island. What is this part of? It's part of that province. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Um. Get another ancillary somehow from that. And we secure the commandery, I guess. Does this does this actually count after all? Even though this isn't my town, it still counts towards the 95. Because it says I com I secured the commandery, even though this isn't my com I'm not owning I don't own part of this. Interesting. I don't know. Anyway, what I do know is that I hope he doesn't actually oh fuck me, he can reach me, Connie. Does he have night battles? Probably. I just fuck myself? Is the campaign far from over because of this? I don't know. He might actually be able to get into us. No, he can't get in there. We'll see what happens. Um, bah. Can't really build anything there. I don't think I care enough right now. Let's just end this turn so that we can finish the episode or the campaign next turn. Hopefully. You're running back to your town? Yeah, you, you know what's up. Alright, he is coming but not attacking me. So yeah, I kind of need to send some shit back to go deal with that but I'm not going to let that stop me if I finish the campaign now by taking the kingdom of Wu's capital then that will just be that right the main question is are there any units in there if there are like if it's a period if it's it doesn't matter what kind of victory it is as long as it's a victory we win the campaign I guess we'll just start by doing that Yep, you can reach. Perfect. There is an army in there. So I don't actually know if we can make this a victory. Oh my god. Please tell me I can still make this a victory with this army. <laughs> no! Oh, we haven't done it yet, for fuck's sake. They even got a trebuchet in there. Alright. So either they come out and attack me, or I have to siege them out for a while. Uh, I'll continue to siege. Unless... I can now, for whatever reason, offer them peace and take that town. But I don't think I can. What is this again? Uh, Yuzhang. No. This one, sorry. Uh, Chang... No, wait, what? This one. Poyang. Give me that fucking small city, you son of a bitch. Wow. Okay, so yeah, he could actually wreak some havoc behind me now. Uh, if I had 25% left, le move left over, I would actually just go into ambush stance here and make him sally out, thinking there's only one army left, but there isn't. I could recruit an army here, but then he would just kill it immediately. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Alright, someone's gonna have to go deal with this. Oh wow, that is not even near the mood required. Nor is that. You can handle it, but then... Who's gonna deal with this? I guess we're not in a rush to deal with this right now, so let's just run over. Um, you're going down this way somewhere. You're gonna stick around here. Because there are some armies around here that could come and attack me if they wanted to. Again, I feel like I still was a full stack over here somewhere, but I can't. I don't know where it is anymore. You're gonna run like an absolute maniac down this way, try and stop as much damage as possible here. How long would it take you to get over there? Uh, oh, next turn. Okay. Although I'm not sure if that's actually in range, but let's just say it is. Oh fuck! Did I move into range of him? No, I, I didn't actually. He's in force march stance. He won't be able to reach me there in normal stance. You can go take this final chunk shot. 
this fucking annoying place. Oh, should have made a night battle. Doesn't matter. So that's Huanzu's final town, I believe. Sure, recruit this random person. Um, you still now have time to go deal with this, I suppose. You are gonna run like an absolute mad lad over here, so we can take that next turn as well. Looks like everything might be coming together because this is taking longer than expected. Only an extra turn or so. The fact that He Yi can actually reach that in a single turn is kind of crazy to me. Right. I'm sure happiness will be fine soon enough. I also just remembered. Wow, they actually survived. Are you kidding me? How is that even possible? How did you not kill more men? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. More experience for me. Single dude survived. He actually survived again. This is still not killing. I mean, he's, he's actually dead because he fought twice in one turn. But he actually fucking survived that. Somehow, no money but 1% replenishment from a guy, from a leader? How does that work? Um, right, I guess. Uh, yeah, I should have gone this way. But So you can retire here, but no. So yeah, this is the final army from him, and I think he doesn't have any more towns, so that's okay. Um. Right. You haven't done any movement yet. Let's send you this way too. You're gonna go attack and possibly to. Oh wow, okay, never mind. 70% the best I can do. Alright. 70% it is. Um. What else? I'm gonna sit right here. I'm gonna take this fucking faction out of existence next turn as well. Yeah, it's gonna come out. It's gonna work out so well. We're gonna deal with this next turn. We're gonna take these last few towns of finishing off that faction next turn. Um, we're actually gonna finish off Leo Bay next turn, I think, as well. That's a nice little added bonus. Um, and then we are gonna finish the campaign by taking that. Hopefully, that works out all next turn. There's a chance that it doesn't, but. Oh well. Okay. There's really, once again, not much else we can do right now. So let's just move on. You could do the siege here, I guess. It would be kind of annoying if he decides to do that. But be okay, to be honest. Alright, let's see what he does. They're sallying out. Oh, and they're night battling it. Hmm. Um, nah. Not okay, he went into ambush stance, but that's irrelevant because I'm not going that way. So I think we got him. If He Yi can actually make it. Oh wow, another army from Huangzhou or something. Holy shit. Free rebellions almost happening. 50 morale for own army, public order, local commandery, food production, local commandery. Uh, neither of these are any use to me. Going imminent, rebellion, imminent, rebellion. No! Oh, well, we have an army here, so I think we'll be okay. Let's kill it off right away. Oh, oh, he actually did it here. Okay, deal with this as well. He's not gonna run away because I don't think he's got any more towns. Nope. So he, all he can do is try and take a town, so he's not gonna run away. He survived, though. I'm not sure if I can reach him again. Or is he dead anyway because it's his final army. Oh, okay. Why am I bothering? Because it finishes off one, one, another faction, which is kind of nice, actually. That's his him dead, I believe. Right, so, first of all, this place I had exempted ages ago. I'm gonna stop doing that now. It was very unhappy, but whatever. Um, where are the other rebellions imminent? In Dong, minus two. Alright. Fair enough. Not a problem for me. And in Changsha. Over here. Okay. Sure. Dealt with that too. Built the buildings that I was gonna build. And 
that one, because it's easier. Go away, go away, go away. Killed in battle. Oath Sworn. Gain the military expert ancillary. He said he's an expert. Oh my god, it's Zhang Fei again. Well, now I won't be able to take out the Evadus turn. Or am I? Oh boy. This might work out. I want to finish off the Evadus turn so bad. Yes. It's all coming together now. It is all coming together. Oh, did I get that sweet weapon? That's not it. That's not it either. No! Wait. Yes. I'll have that too, if you don't mind. Alright, is that... Uh, no, it's not actually him dead yet. Was, it, was that his capital? I should have checked if that was his capital or not. Oh well, doesn't matter. Liave may, may not be dead yet as a faction, but he is close enough that it doesn't matter to me. And we got the spear. Um, you know, her ye. You already have this fucking thing. God damn, man. Can anyone actually use that? You can. Here you go. You can use the sword, right? Uh, unfortunately, we don't have um, the Yubei sword, but I guess we, I guess we got the closest thing too. Which is I well, we got Sun Jan's sword, we got uh, Cao Cao's sword, and we got. Um, What's his face sword? Um, Dong Dong Zhou. Which one do you want? Minus instinct plus forty plus forty plus satisfaction. Um, or do I just not give you? I'm just not, not, not going to do it. It's not going to bother. Right. Uh, well, okay, we got a couple more over here that are nice to do just to finish off this. Um, can we actually reach him? Yes, we can. All right, so that finishes off this faction as well, minus that army. But whatever. Really, Pyrrhic victory. Oh, wait, right, he's in range. Well, in that case, yeah, delegated like that, so we kill him off too. Or at least wound him severely, so he can't take anything. Yeah, he ran away, I think, so he survived. Yep. But he won't be able to do anything, so that's okay. And then we finish that faction off by taking this turn right here. Oh no! It didn't all work out! <laughs> We're just shy. I can't believe it. Um, also, how good is that Serpent Spirit? I didn't really even pay attention to it. Uh, you got it. 15 expertise, 15 instinct, 25 charge bonus, and insane damage. Yeah, that was actually really good as well. Yeah, while I played... Um, when I played Liu Bei's faction, I didn't really pay attention enough to that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he set up an ambush around here somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where. So I could be walking into an ambush right here and actually ruining everything. I feel like it was over here, but he just kind of disappeared, so I don't actually know for sure. Oh, how fucked would that be if I run into an ambush right now with this army? I'm gonna try something. No, alright, never mind. Um, well, if any army is going to survive an ambush, I suppose it would be this one. Okay, we're through. Alright. In that case, you siege the town. No! Shh! I pressed the wrong button. Oh my god, I ruined it. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> After all this, please tell me I can still do this. Okay, thank god. It's not great. Pyrrhic victory in our army is basically dead now, but that finishes off the campaign. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. <laughs> I did everything right up until that moment in the entire campaign. Oh god. Alright, you may go. I will take that place. There we go. So we need you. Tie your bing ren, her sien shue so she. Chu ho bao tang luan xin. Tien xia bu kan zai shou qi luan.
，汉朝腐败的毒瘤，如今已经根除殆尽。公都已将皇天大旗举遍天下，皇天定会对此有所嘉许。所谓天下大事，分久必合，天子知承天命，顺天而治，圣朝厚德，国祚永延。All right. Sweet, we finished the campaign. It was, uh, yeah, kind of rough at the end there, because honestly, if Sun Tzu now comes over and attacks one of my armies there, it could actually be kind of painful for them, but I think we'd still be okay. So we finished it on turn... Uh, I have no idea, I'll have to see in the other screen. Turn 121, which I think this is my fastest campaign. I've done three campaigns, or at least I've finished three campaigns. Liu Bei, Zhang Yan, and... Gongdu. Gongdu. This has been the longest campaign in terms of episodes by quite a few, I think. Like six or seven more than the Liu Bei campaign, I think. The Zhang Yan one's been the fastest in terms of episodes. But the Liu Bei campaign took 129 turns. The Zhang Yan campaign, I believe, was 125. And this one is 121. So I've done three campaigns now. And um, the shortest has been 20, 121. But all of them have been between 120 and 129, uh, 130. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so notable characters, actually first of these three. The favorite character has been Gongdu. He's 61 years old. No one died in the end, by the way. Also, he's been in one battle per year, basically, of his life. Zhang Kai, my longest serving. I feel like this is a bit of a... I feel I, I wish they had something else for this, because longest serving is always going to be the character that started with you, and as long as you didn't die, basically. And... Um, that's not really something interesting to know. Like, Duelist is cooler, right? 10 successful jewels, kind of actually a lower amount than I expected more, but like that's something that changes every time. This is always going to be the same character, no matter who you're playing as, or no, no matter who plays the campaign, basically. But anyway, uh, Gongdu, 5.2k kills. I think the battles are going to be interesting in this one. 109 counties in the end, holy shit. And all taken by myself, no uh, abdications or anything able, which makes this even more interesting that we finished this one 121 turns um, despite not actually doing any abdication whatsoever. Somehow this has been faster than that. Uh, but I think that Gongdu's got in, like, well, Yellow Terminus probably in general have incredibly strong factions just because it seems like you make so much more money than with any other faction. Like if I was any other faction, I, and I, I wouldn't, I, well, first of all, I wouldn't have been able to get this many armies. Um, but if I had this amount of armies and all that money as well. I could have recruited way more dudes, but with this faction, we just run out of characters to recruit, basically. So that became a problem too, but... Anyway, tons of ancillaries, etc. Yeah, we had fucking loads in the beginning. We actually ran out towards the end, but we had loads. I think the the thing I'm mostly interested in is battles. You can look at all this stuff, but it's mostly just kind of irrelevant shit. 692 deals made by me. Or sorry, made by others. 43 made by me. Factions counter 103. I think it is always 103. So there's 103 factions, well, 104, I guess, in the game. So that's interesting to know as well. 27k payments received. That's not a lot. Total income 1.9 mil. I kind of wish I had a way to st compare these stats like directly to my other uh, faction campaigns, but I can't. I, I can't remember the stats and I don't want to look it up right now. Created a whole bunch of units, destroyed 2.1k. I lost 105. That's actually like one of the best ratios I've ever seen, I think. Or no, I think that's the the men lost is the is the bad one. Like here, we lost 122k, we killed 393k, so that's still pretty meh. But I guess it's normal for this um this game. We lost 5.1k most in one battle. I wonder if that was the last out of us all right there. Probably not, but it could have been. Uh, we killed 6.1k. Uh, 546 the highest kills by one character. That's not that crazy, but it's okay. Total battles 225. Yeah, the Zhang Yan one, I remember because I finished it a couple days ago. It had Oh, I don't remember exactly, but it had like 105 or something, or, or 95, or something along those lines. It had basically half of this. So, yeah, this campaign had a stupid amount of battles. That's why it took longer to complete, but it was still faster in turn-wise. We had four heroic victories, okay. I actually said recently that I fought that we only had one, but whatever. Fought 108 myself, 170 others also. Once again, it's been the same in all three campaigns so far, that it seems like I fight uh, a little bit less than 50-50. Uh, personally, and not absolved. So that's that. I like that stat. That's nice. 
71 Roland, 38 Prestige. A lot of them are resource set on buildings, more than usual, because obviously we had to take a lot more resources in this particular campaign because we couldn't abdicate or make people abdicate. 210 victories, 15 defeats, one of them which was right at the end, which was kind of stupid, but oh well. 70 land battle victories, one defeat. 37 siege battle victories, one defeat. Again, the last one right there. Because <laughs> I auto, auto resolve those, so I can't basically, I basically can't lose them unless I press the wrong button. Um, 75 resource settlement battle victories, 13 lost. I guess that was probably when we got attacked and I didn't have an army there or something. 10 encampment battle victories, 7 ambush battle victories. Cool. Let's uh, continue campaign, but I'm going to end this campaign right now, though. Victory objective complete campaign on this day, the whole of China will rejoice in your name. As Emperor, you wield the he will of heaven, not for power, but for justice. China is whole once again, and peace and unity is closer under your honorable guidance. Emperor seat captured. No special message about the yellow tide or whatever the fuck it's all called. I didn't lose any characters, so I'm actually okay with it. And now I could even be like, yo, peace? So, yeah. This campaign is very much um, in a position where I would never worry about anything. I could definitely clean the entire map, no problem whatsoever. Just the sheer amount of armies. Oh, right, this is the other thing I was going to finish off. You know what? That's the final thing we'll do in this. Just tell me this is absorbable. It is. Didn't get to see the most archery masters in battle because of this, but that finishes off the fucking Zhang Yan faction that's been an ass for so, so long. In fact, I'm going to execute you, and you, and you. That's what you deserve. There we go. Hao Mang faction destroyed. That makes me feel good. Because that faction has been a thorn in my side for ages. Cool. So that's going to be that for this campaign. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, I cannot tell you exactly what's going to happen now because I... Well, I probably would have already made a, um, an update video about this possibly weeks ago for by the time you see this. Or at least a week ago or something. Um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure what my plan is right now because I... As I said it a couple episodes ago, the problem is that... Um, I had already made my faction vote video, and Yuan Shu is definitely going to be... Well, actually, Cao Cao is getting, catching up a little bit. It's a few days after I put it online, but somehow it's still getting closer and closer. So either it would be Cao Cao or it would be Yuan Shu. But either way, it doesn't really matter, because that was like... I, I made that video, or uploaded the, the video, a day before the 8 Princess DLC was announced. Uh, and now that we know the release date for that, which is the 8th of August, which is actually only probably a week or... or I don't know, maybe a week and a half from this video... Again, it currently it's the 17th of July, so you guys, you guys kind of see how far behind you are. Um, but yeah, if it, the thing is that with that DLC, obviously when it comes out, I want to cover one of the factions on there. And I'm also already going to be doing the Matan campaign, which will have been well underway by the time you see this video as well. I recorded like five or six videos on that at the moment. Um, in fact, I guess I can show you where we're at, Chris. Again, by the, actually no, maybe spoilers, I'm not going to show you. Maybe you haven't seen that campaign yet and you're watching it later, I don't know. Um... But yeah, the point is that uh, I maybe have to postpone the Yuan Shu campaign because the A Princess DLC is coming out, or I need to just, or I can just do free free campaigns, but I won't be able to upload them as frequently. So instead of one every day, it'll be like one and a half every day, or sorry, 0.75 every day, I guess. So one day I'll upload two of them, like say I upload campaign one and two, the next day I upload campaign one and three, the next day after that I uh, upload uh, campaign two and three. So you kind of, you know. I have to keep switching it up, but I guess that's possible as well. So maybe I will have done the Yuan Shu campaign and that will actually be what comes after this. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes out for either Yuan Shu or Cao Cao campaign. And then the Eight Princes DLC campaign will also still come out when that releases. And I'll just have to change the schedule a little bit, but I guess that's okay. Either way, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this campaign. I really did. This may actually be my favorite campaign. The only downside of the Yellow Turbans campaign I think is the replayability is going to be a bit meh because I've really enjoyed this campaign, but I feel like if I were to play Huang Xiao or um, He Yi, the campaigns would be exactly the same. Because in this campaign, I had all the legendary characters, all the unique characters. Um, I pr probably build my armies exactly the same way as well in the other campaigns. There's no unique units because you can get all the units uh, with everyone because this unit is available for everyone as well. It's just you, you just start off with it as Gongdu. 
Um, so yeah, I don't know. I feel like it would probably still be pretty similar, but the starting position would be different, and the, the start of the campaign would definitely be unique, but after a while it becomes the same same thing. But it was a lot of fun, so I'm sure I'll do one again in the future at some point, and by then it will hopefully feel refreshed again after I've done tons of other factions and DLC, etc. So we'll see. Either way, I'll do it at some point. Until then, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Have a good day, and goodbye.